What's up guys, this video is going to be about the small observations I've had with iOS 5 Beta 5 so far. And actually for the first time we're going to have the iPhone edition and iPad edition all in one. So four things from the iPhone and one thing from the iPad. Let's go. So first off, and actually as I unlocked, it's from the lock screen. So since the first iOS 5 beta, you could get to the camera app by double tapping the home screen button and clicking the camera icon. However, what I thought was a glitch was that when you swipe to the left, or swipe to the right, uh, but went to the left because it's inverse scrolling, um, it would say, it used to say, no photos or videos. But, I, I mean, who wouldn't think of that as a glitch? So if you've seen, if you've seen my first, uh, one of my first videos actually, uh, where it was iOS 5 versus iOS 4, the difference is, I don't know if it was part 1 or 2, I called it a glitch and haven't updated my stance on that since because until beta 5 they hadn't changed what it said. But I thought of it as a, thought of it as a glitch because who wouldn't? If I had a thousand photos or more than a thousand photos and tons and tons of videos, but it was saying that I had no videos, well, I figured it was a glitch. But Apple has cleared up what this means and actually, at least it appears that it wasn't a glitch from the beginning. They just updated the text to say, your iPhone is locked. Unlock your iPhone to see all of your photos and videos. So basically, this is for security purposes. They don't want people seeing your personal photos or videos from the lock screen without having to put in a password because, well, I mean, that's your personal information. Let's say someone picks up your phone, double taps, and then they get to see all your photos. And then they could just go click the home screen button and for me because I don't have a password uh, it would take me back to my home screen but if you if you try to go to the home screen when you have a password from the camera app from the lock screen it will tell you to put in your password so this is not a breach this is just for people who don't have a password which may be stupid comment put that in the comments if you think I'm stupid for not having a password on my phone and maybe it'll sway me to put a password I just hate entering it every time it's pretty annoying but second thing on my list also in the camera app when you look at your photos before iOS 5 Beta 5, you would have to swipe back to the right to get to your camera app or click the thumbnail and go back. But now they have a little blue camera icon there that let's say you're like 10 photos back. You don't want to have to swipe all the way to the right to get back. And well, now it's not working, so thank you. But you don't want to have to swipe all the way right to get back to your camera app. You want to just simply quickly go back to the camera app. And my friend actually showed me this, so shout out to Aaron. Uh, thank you. And so, blue camera icons, the second thing. Third thing. You know, these are small things, but that's what this video is, small observations. So third thing is in the Messages app, and another shout out to Aaron. <laughs> this is the fact that with gestures, since beta 2, I think, you were able to swipe down the keyboard to see your previous texts. And, you know, that's pretty cool because you don't want to have to read a lot of texts uh, having the keyboard in your way reading with this little pane here so you just bring down the keyboard and there you go but now you can swipe back up so another really tiny observation but it used to bother me because you would think if you can swipe down well I want the keyboard back let me swipe back up but it would get stuck and you'd have to tap to get it back very tiny observation I know but that's what again this video is so bear with me, people. Um, this is slightly more interesting. A glitch. <laughs> so with Beta 5, and I looked it up online, it's definitely a glitch with Beta 5 and should be fixed by, before the public release, or at least by the GM, hopefully. Uh, some apps, if they already have a gloss effect applied uh, from the app's framework, it will double effect the it will double gloss effect. So that's kind of weird, but now if you if you if you have MLB.com at bat, you'll notice that this icon is really grayed out when it's supposed to be pretty black. This is not racist, guys. The color of the app is supposed to be a lot darker or blacker, and so now it's just grayed out and washed out. A much better example for the camera, and you'll be able to see it much clearer, is that with Google Plus, you can see that that's very washed out. Normally, you can see the red, blue, green, and yellow a lot easier, and it's really washed out now. And it's also a Facebook, but that's pretty hard to see on the camera. But off the top of my head already, you can see three applications that have the double gloss effect glitch. So, you know, I'm sure I can name more, but what's the point of it? You get the point. Basically, for me, about 10% of my apps, I have a lot. So I have like 100 and, I don't know, 130 apps or something like that. And about 10% of my apps have that 
glitch. So fifth thing, and congratulations guys, time for the iPad. Alright guys, so as you can see, the fifth and final observation is with the iPad. So I'm going to go to the App Store for this, but it can be with any application. It's this new animation when you close an app, and it's not when you open it, but it's when you close it. So when you open it, you can see there's no animation, and when you close it, I'm going to go in slow motion, you see that like whooshing or zooming effect on all four corners until it gets to the center and would close. But in all previous betas, as you can see when you're bringing it back open to fill the page, there's no animation, and it would be that way for both closing and opening. Now, I call this whooshing, or zooming, but in the comments, sound off, say whatever you want, call it whatever you want, uh, I'd like to see your names, but, um, you know, I've relegated it as whooshing, so I'm going to do it in fast motion also, I'll just show you when you close it faster, you still have the effect. So, one last time, whoosh! <laughs> Alright guys, peace.